Hi everyone, I'm Laura Madden. This is day four of my 30 day video challenge. And this morning I came across a quote that really got me thinking. And it said, creativity could be described as letting go of uncertainties by Gail Sheehy. Creativity could be described as letting go of uncertainties. And creativity is something that's very important to me in my life. And just in the last maybe year, have I finally given myself the space and the time to pay attention and to use my creativity on a daily basis. At least once a day, I will write or draw or bake or create something using my creativity. And it totally changes my whole day. It, it totally changes my outlook on the day and it really changes the way I look at myself. It really has, heightened my self-worth and the way I value myself. So in a time right now where I'm facing many uncertainties, I find it very interesting that the more we can get comfortable with that or let go of it being so scary, the sweeter life gets, truly. And I've faced many uncertainties this last few years of my life and the truth is we all face many uncertainties on a daily basis. And so by letting go of that, instead of turning to fear or, you know, what if or dwelling and worrying, if we can get comfortable with it, or at least I've experienced when I allow myself to be comfortable with it, it makes for a much, much happier day. For many years, my norm was to just throw up the red flag and, so to speak, go to battle with myself over these uncertainties and all the worries and fears that follow. So I've been practicing keeping the flag down and just going with it, going with the flow and just letting it go. And I, it makes for a much happier mood and absolutely, absolutely, it has been very valuable to my health. I totally, totally believe that. So instead of sending up the red flag and worrying over every little detail, just, just trying to accept it and be okay with it and just go with the flow. So I hope that was helpful for you guys as well. Have a great day until tomorrow. Bye-bye.